Welcome back to Monroe's Corner. We back with another reaction. Today we got Michael Jordan, Larry Bird, and Magic Johnson sharing funny stories about each other. Oh, this will be I, I love to hear the uh, NBA legends and players just, you know, talk about, you know, tell their stories, man. It, it, it's so entertaining, man. We we I, love, I just love getting the behind the scenes of stuff. All right, so let's get into it. Roll to 50K, man. 50K by Independence Day. That's what y'all said. You know what I'm saying? So that's our new channel goal. 50K by Independence Day. So like and subscribe, baby. All right, let's get into it. So we know that Michael Jordan, Larry Bird, and Magic are pretty good friends. So I decided to compile them sharing funny stories and acknowledging each other. So let me... When, 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 when you go through that level of competition with somebody, you know what I'm saying? When you... Uh, you know what I'm saying? You will become friends. <laughs> you know what I mean? Cause it's inevitable, man. Cause that person pushes you. You know what I mean? You you, you study them too much. <laughs> you study them too much to not be friends. And if you're not studying them enough, then then you 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 don't belong on that floor. You know what I'm saying? Like that, cause uh, the greats study the greats, man. Greats study the greats. Let me know in the comments if you want more videos like this. Enjoy the vid, man. The most talented player in the NBA, by far. The type of player that can go to another level anytime he wants to. Probably the greatest player in the game right now. Enjoy yourself, dog. <laughs> you bitch, fuck you. Y'all gave us the run for our money. Enjoy yourself, dog. You bitch, fuck you. Y'all gave us the run for our money. Yeah. <laughs> All right, take care. Thank you, work on that golf game of yours. <laughs> <laughs> Larry, I hear you that you're retiring. Thank goodness. I'm glad. I'm tired of seeing your face. Well, a lot of sad memories to me, but you know, I enjoyed you tremendously. I wish you a lot of luck, and I think you had a very wonderful career, even though you probably ruined a lot of my uh, successful games against the Boston Celtics. <laughs> Yo, back. And I see you somewhere along the road, somewhere playing golf. You can't get too close to Mike with the foul. <laughs> ah! <laughs> he said you can't get too close to my ears because it's a foul. Oh man, that's funny. Playing golf. You can't get too close to my boy, it's a foul. Hey. <laughs> you haven't committed a foul in almost a year and a half, man. I hear you talk. <laughs> my goodness. I don't think you ever found out of a game. <laughs> when you're on the court with you. Yeah, Mike said, when you ever foul out a game. <laughs> I know you year and a half, man. I hear you talk. Because <laughs> you know they say the higher your star power, the more calls go your way. You know what I'm saying? Goodness. <laughs> I don't think you ever found out of a game. When do you ever find out of a game? When you're on the court with either of those guys, do you ever say, wow, I wish I could do that, or I, I, I wish I would have done it that way? Yeah. I'm amazed by certain things that they do, and, and sometimes it is a sense of uh, trying to Im intimidate, uh, Im imitate one of those players. Or intimidate, too, whatever the case <laughs> might be, right? But uh, I love playing with those guys uh, because you know they're going to be very competitive. Yep. They got hearts just like you. Uh, they want to... Want the ball when the times uh, when the time is running out, um, and they're they're one of the greatest players in the in the league. And it's, sometimes it's great to play against players like that. And a lot of people compare us, and it, a lot of people put one above the other, which I don't think is fair to all either one of us. Uh, mm -hmm. But it's fun. I love being around them. This is, this is the East. Hold up. Lock hold, hold, hold up. Hold up. You got nothing to do with the hold weather. Up. Hold up. Come on, we got hold nothing up. but his damn. Make right. a color though. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Like he coached. <laughs> nah, I'm yeah. with the old mother. Oops. Old mother. There ain't many of us here, dog. That's why I come and say, what's up? To my what's boy. How you been doing? Damn. Hey, Bird Serena. Well, Kevin McHale had just broke the Celtic record. He scored 60. <laughs> and um, and he went up to Kevin and said, you know you're not going to hold that record too long. The <laughs> next game against the Atlanta Hawks, he Larry Bird went out and scored 65 or something like that. I remember I mean, that. Putting on a show, that's who Larry Bird was. Walked into the All-Star game. All nine other three-point shooting contestants were already in the locker room. He said, which one of you guys coming in second? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's a bad boy. That's a bad, a bad boy. boy. So the assassin with the sharp eye is firing it on target today. 
And you see Larry finishing off. Look at that smooth <laughs> rhythm. The shot, one step back, pick it up, the shot. Back and forth. He is like a machine. And the results are almost like a machine. Which one are you coming in second, man? You go into a three-point contest with Larry Bird, it's just... Boy... Oh, he took off his top yet. Yeah, no, yeah. <laughs> I didn't see what he took off his top. It's changed. So I went over there, tapped him on the shoulder, and said, Hey, man, if you don't turn into Air Jordan, we're going to blow you out today. <laughs> Jimmy, his eyes got big. <laughs> <laughs> Usually that tongue come about right here, and now it's way out. <laughs> He broke the huddle, he hit a three, and he's looking at me. <laughs> so he came down again, hit another three. <laughs> Tell me this, and, and three of our friends went into the Hall of Fame this year. So if I said Michael Jordan, what would you say? I think unbelievable. I mean, he... he... <laughs> I, mean, I can tell you some things that happened in the games against us. One time I turned, I jumped, and he still went. His knees almost hit me in the chin. And that's when I realized that this guy's pretty special uh, for his jumping ability. But cat quick, uh, he closed down a pass lane as fast as anybody ever seen, and, and just a phenomenal player. Hey, Michael. I, I'm loving it. See, his knees almost hit him in the chin. Damn. They call him Air Jordan for no reason. Pass lane as fast as anybody ever seen, and, and just a phenomenal player. Hey, Michael. I, I'm loving it, though. Would you like to have some his ass today? <laughs> hey, hey, you know, I'll be coming at his oh, ass. Just, just, just like I used to come at both of y'all. <laughs> <laughs> He'll laugh and smile with you, just like he did in, in, in Shooter Run. I love it. He'll smile, hug me. You know. What's up, my boy? Yeah, yeah. He trying to soften you up. He going to kill you. <laughs> so then he's going to smile and laugh with you after the game. <laughs> see, Michael is like that. That's why you almost can't beat him. And, and Danny knows. See, he'll smile with you. See, he'll smile with Charles. And then he'll go kill him. And Charles will be like, <laughs> he's be still smiling. <laughs> yeah, Michael. Okay, I'll see you in a minute, Charles. What, let me dunk one. Oh, what'd you say, Charles? Let me dunk another. Oh, yeah, Charles. Hey, yeah. See, that's how Michael is. So you got to watch Michael. That's why I didn't want him to touch me today. Uh-uh, get back. <laughs> I'm not your friend until after the game is over. See, because I know him. And Larry Bird is a straight shooter. He'll tell you when he don't like you. That's one thing I wish I could have from him, that, that he has that I don't have. I wish I had that. One similarity, oh, I guess dope. there are many, but one that strikes me between you and Michael Jordan, Larry, is that killer instinct, totally ruthless on the court. You had that, and Michael does too. Well, that's awful nice, Bob, comparing me to Michael Jordan. I think that anytime you have a team down, you got to go ahead and put them away. When you saw the documentary, mm -hmm. did you have the same feelings, or was it just, oh, yeah, that's, that's us, that's what we did? Yeah, they did a great job of capturing our feelings and uh, how we feel about one another, but... Is really all about the competition. I mean, even today, if we could do something to co compete against one another, I still like to do that. Yeah. <laughs> you putting it out now? <laughs> That's good. Are you inclined early on to b become friends with this guy because you you were drawn to him because of his uh, basketball abilities? Was, was we, did you want to be friends with him from the beginning? From the beginning, I wanted to be friends, but Larry didn't want n none of that. <laughs> And so, <laughs> Magic was the happy-go-lucky guy, you know what I'm saying? Bird was the hard nose, like, hey, I ain't with all that, man. I'm out here trying to win these championships. <laughs> <laughs> you know. And so I, I said, okay, if that's how it's going to be, then we have to be like that. <laughs> I started disliking him, too. <laughs> uh, but, you know, he told me that, you know, I smiled all the time, and he knew that uh, I, I would smile at you, but I want to cut your heart out at the uh -huh. same yeah. time. So uh, <laughs> he knew that that was part of my strategy right. to get him, lure him in as so, my friend. So he, he didn't want to show, demonstrate any weakness by becoming your friend. Now, did you feel what his advances to being a friend, and you just rejected them? You were not interested? You didn't like him? I mean, what was, what was your it's side not, of that? It's not like one more girlfriends, you know what I mean? <laughs> 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 uh, you say advances, I get a little scared. But, uh, <laughs> but um, you know, my, my thing was when you compete, you're really not friends. You, you want to keep an edge. And I was yeah. like that through high school and through college. But Irving is an outgoing guy. He loves everybody. He wants to 
high five and you know he got that big big smile my goal was to try to take three of them teeth home with me <laughs> 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 two different perspectives <laughs> <You're respectfully. laughs> Harry were you in hey that's the thing too dog like me I play better when I hate somebody like you know what I'm saying when I truly won't want to lose to a particular person I don't like losing period but when I when there's that person that I oh if I lose to them it's gonna be the end of the world oh that's when you get the best of me you gotta compete, keep that competitive edge. Able to intimidate Michael Jordan at all early in his <laughs> career? I, I don't know. I, I never really said much to Michael. I hear all these things that people say, but um, I was a competitor. I played uh, hard against the great players. Michael was a great player, and I just tried to do the best I could against him. I didn't have the athletic skills that Michael has. I couldn't jump as high or run as fast, but I had to make it up in other areas. And at times I did well, and other times I didn't uh, uh, do as well as I like to. But uh, overall, I, I had a good career, and I'm very pleased with the way things went. He wanted to end practice, but Magic didn't want to end. Legend. He wanted to keep playing because we just. He wanted to end practice, but Magic didn't want to end because he wanted to keep playing because we just kicked his ass. How you like that ass kicking we gave you? Oh, no, no, no. Come on now. Well, y'all got the first the first quarter practice. Now. What separated me from Larry Bird and Magic Johnson was, you know, they had championships to back their individual accolades. So I mean, uh, that drove me more so than anything to get into that elite club. What you live for? Yeah. To play Mike. Yeah, because when Joy came in the league, Magic and Bird done had theirs. You know what I'm saying? Michael was, Michael was coming up. You know what I'm saying? Michael was coming up. His greatness was coming up, but he had to get them rings, boy, to be to be held in the rankings with Magic and Bird, boy. Because Magic and Bird saved the league. Magic and Bird's rivalry saved the league from, from bankruptcy. To get into that elite club. What you live for to play Michael Jordan in the finals. And then uh, it even made it bigger when you know, I had my T-shirt company, and I had a, a, a license to sell Michael Jordan T-shirts in the finals, and he didn't like that at all. Oh, wow. <laughs> Michael, before that, wasn't the dominant Michael before. When he got to the finals, he became the dominant force and the world's best player, because during that finals, he made everybody come up to the same level as him, and he made his teammates better. Yeah. You can start to say the words, folks. The world champion, Chicago. I mean, you got to. Great privilege to Somebody proud playing the audience. This is a guy who's had the most success in the 80s. I think it, it was the passing of the torch of the eras. I'm just happy, and I was happy to pass the torch to Michael because I knew that I was passing it to somebody who was great. So you never be sad because you had your turn. Mm -hmm. You know, when you when Dr. J passed it to Larry and myself, we yeah. we did our thing. We had fun playing, we had fun winning. And here comes another guy named Michael Jordan who was just like us, who had fun playing the game, loved to compete, mm -hmm. loved to win, uh, mm -hmm. but also was somebody who was special. And passing on the torch, you only you, you could only pass it to another special guy. And this guy was special. Good job. And then after Jordan came Kobe. You know what I'm saying? Rest in peace, Kobe, man. Larry and I were talking, and Michael walks in, and he says, "It's a new sheriff in town." <laughs> <laughs> and we both hit each other like, "Well, he's not lying." <laughs> so, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, and tell me what is your favorite Clipper story. So make sure you like, share. Yeah. Yeah, he, hey, they couldn't deny it. Like, like I say, watching, watching Mike, watching Mike come up, man, was like, uh, watching Mike come up, <laughs> like watching a young Mike Tyson dog go come up. I should do some Mike Tyson. Y'all, y'all want me to do some Mike Tyson videos? Uh, yeah, but yeah, uh, that, that, that's great to see the camaraderie, uh, with with, with those with those three legends, man. Uh. 
Oh man, it's, it's it's just it's just dope, man. Seeing uh, I want I want I want to hear more behind the scenes and you know what I'm saying hear more interviews and stuff like that. So put put some good stuff in the comments for me to react to, man. I'm gonna get to it. All right, Celtics in five, baby. Celtics in five, yeah, yeah, yeah. That game one was some serious, yeah. That fourth quarter turn up was real. Let's go though. All right. Make sure you like and subscribe. Roll to 50K, 50K by Independence Day. Peace out. One love, baby.